You can take this physics practical notebook either from the publisher or Ilmi Book Depot, Urdu Bazar, Lahore, or free downloading from my website. Experiment 12 on page 132 in the practical notebook. Left side page of same experiment. Okay, our experiment is to find the relation between current and capacitance. When different capacitors are used in AC circuit. In this experiment, we have a step down transformer here connected, which will convert the 220 volt into 12 volt AC. Then we have a milli ammeter connected in series. Then we have four capacitors C1, C2, C3, and C4 of different capacitance connected in parallel. Each capacitor is connected with a switch. So we have also four switches which will operate these capacitors turn by turn. We can use one capacitor at a time and we can use more than one capacitor at a, at one time now here we have actual apparatus this is step down transformer this is primary this is the core of the transformer and this is a secondary here here 220 volt ac is being stepped down to 12 volt ac then we have this milliampere which will measure the current in milliamperes then we have these four capacitor capacitor c1 capacitor c2 capacitor c3 and capacitor c4 these four capacitors you can see here they are connected in parallel and each capacitor have a switch here so when we will push when we will push here the switch s1 this capacitor c1 will start working when we will push this switch s2 this capacitor c2 will start working and when we push this switch s3 this capacitor c3 will start working and when we will push this c4 this this uh, s4 this c4 capacitor will start working we can turn these switches one by one and we can also turn these switches simultaneously by two switches at one time three switches at one time or all the four switches one time now students see here how you will take the reading so first of all you will push this switch s1 c ammeter is showing the reading here the reading of the ammeter here is 4 milliampere and this capacitor is of capacity 1 microfarad its capacitance is written on this capacitor so this 1 microfarad capacitor is working and the current here is 4 milliampere then you will release the switch and now you will push this switch here when you will push this switch look at the reading of milliampere this is approximately 14 milliampere and this capacitor is second capacitor is working now its capacitance is 2.2 microfarad keep on observing and noting these values now you will push this capacitor this switch has 3 and this capacitor start working look at the value here that is approximately 12 milliampere now you will push this capacitor this switch as 4 now this capacitor c4 will start working and look at its reading its reading is on the milliampere is 26 milliampere likewise you can push these two switches s1 and s2 simultaneously like that so look at here these two capacitors are work working simultaneously now their capacitance because they are connected in parallel so their capacitance will be added up so this is 1 microampere this is 2.2 microampere total capacitance will be 3.2 microfarad and here the current will be 20 milliampere in this way you can use any combination of these capacitor 
to take at least six, seven set of readings so that you can draw the graph between current and capac capacitance. Now we will put these values in the table drawn here. First column of the table is number of observation. Second is capacitance of the capacitor represented by C, capital C, and it is measured in microfarad. Third column is of current which is measured from the milli and meter. This is represented by capital I. And the last column is ratio between current and capacitance. So first reading here, the value of the capacitance is 1.0 microfarad and the corresponding value of the current is 4 milli ampere. And the ratio between I and C is 4.0 to 10 is to power 3. Then second reading, the capacitance is 2.2 microfarad. The current is 14 milli ampere, milli ampere, and the ratio is 6.4 into 10 raised to power 3. Likewise, third reading is 3.2. The corresponding value of the current is 20 milli ampere, and the ratio is 6.3 into 10 raised to power 3. And fourth reading here, the capacitance is 3.3 microfarad. Current is 22 milliampere and the ratio is 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to power 3. Now we will find the relation between capacitance and capacitance of the capacitor and current passing through it. We know the reactance of the capacitor Xc is equal to 1 over omega C where omega is the angular frequency and C is the capacitance of the capacitor. But omega is equal to 2 pi F. So putting this value here, we will get Xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi Fc, where F is the frequency of the AC used. From Mohan's law, V is equal to I into Xc. So from here, Xc will be equal to V over I. Now comparing this equation 1 and this equation 2, we get V over I is equal to 1 over 2 pi Fc. From here we will get I is equal to 2 pi F into V. V here is AC voltage and the C is the capacitance. Since these factors are constant, so I is equal to constant into C. Removing this constant, I is directly proportional to C. So here we develop the relation between current and capacitance. That current is directly proportional to the capacitance. So if we will increase this capacitance, the current will also increase and vice versa. At the end, we will draw the graph between current and capacitance. See here, capacitance would be taken along x-axis and the current would be taken along y-axis. Since you know that the relation between current and this capacitance is direct relation, so we will get a straight line graph here. This is the straight line graph. So the straight line graph shows also that relation between I and C is direct. If C will increase, I will increase. If C will decrease, the I will also decrease. The students, you must be careful while performing this experiment because here using, you are using alternating current, so you must not touch these components of this apparatus when you are performing this experiment. Number two, you must note very carefully the reading written on these capacitors. Number three, these capacitors should be paper capacitor. Electrolytic capacitor should not be used because they may explode after getting heat 
for the continuous usage and you also carefully push these switches so that make sure that you have pushed this switch carefully and the switches you are pushing they are also working you can take this book from the store or free downloading from my website these readings are given as a reference your readings may be different from these readings Thank <laughs> you.